good morning guys and welcome to a brand new vlog by myself Sarah Disney um, today is um, is going to be um, a little bit tense to be to be exact um, as I said in the vlog a couple of days ago I've been unwell for a couple of days so I, I, I hadn't vlogged all weekend and that was basically just um, my fatigue which I get really bad sometimes um, but yesterday um, in the afternoon, my sense of smell went, didn't it, and my taste. I couldn't taste anything. I had carrot and coriander soup at Tesco, and I couldn't taste it, which you can normally taste. And I also couldn't smell when the cats had been and done the business in the potty, which is not like me. And I didn't put anything finger. It was only then, in the evening, I'd started having a runny nose and a bit of a sore throat. So we, we put two and two together, and I thought we'd better get tested, well I'd better get tested for Covid. So last night we went online and we booked a test for 8 o'clock this morning. Um, I think it's the right thing to do because less than two weeks ago, I didn't vlog about it but Charlotte had a query blood clot, uh, a PE on her lungs. Um, it turned out to be something with her heart but um, we were in a Covid ward for three days uh, back and forth getting going back for different scans and stuff uh, so i have been exposed to it well everybody's been exposed to it every day aren't we so but more than more than what i would be in the general public so um i think it's best and responsible and to be a responsible person to go and get this test done so i'm gonna get myself ready and we're going to set off about quarter past seven to go and get this set test done. Nick is also getting a test just because we thought he may as well. Because obviously I've been unwell for a couple of days and didn't realise. And Nick's not having any symptoms at the moment. They did recommend he got a test. So yes, um, it takes 48 hours for the test results to come back. Um, today is, is it Tuesday today Nick? So hopefully the results will be back um, first thing Thursday morning. So that's what we're hoping anyway. And um, yes, so at the moment you're watching this and it's a Thursday night. So obviously my results will be back. So you'll have to come back and find out what my results are. So yes, I'm hoping we can film the test being done. Um, so I will show you everything and go through that. So I'm off to get dressed. Oh, I'm just finishing a cup of coffee and, and I'm going to go and get dressed and we're going to make a move for the morning. We're up, I've slept well, done really well. Um, my throat still is a little bit sore. Um, no temperature. I have, got a, I have coughed a couple of times but nothing repetitive. But it's more for the sense of smell, um, runny nose. Um, and the fact that I've been exposed. So I think it's responsible to go and get this test done. So I'll take you with us. So we just got to the testing site and it's 20 to 8. It doesn't open while 8, so they've told us to go away come back. <laughs> and come back. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we're just going to go and park across. You're going up there like, straight along. You may as well, aren't you? Go and park um, across the way and then come back. You can't park here because it's too close to whatever. I think most of these people are waiting. There's nowhere to park though, but we can just come back, can't we? So yes, we'll come back in 15 minutes and it says 5-2, they'll be able to let us let us back. So we'll set back off at 5-2 from wherever we can get parked up around here. Just going to this little estate here, loving to park up. So yeah, that was a bit of a, we set off to give ourselves 45 minutes because normally it's quite a um, busy road to come down. Um, but yeah, we're, we're here anyway. And um, we'll just, um, just listen to a bit of music for five minutes. So, sorry if I'm looking um, quite rough this morning. Very puffy. I had about five and a half, half hours sleep, so let's get this test done. Just got into the site. Um, about four cars behind. Um, yeah, so all looks pretty straightforward. I'll show you about them. Obviously, have to zoom out of that thing. Um, this is the tenth seven top. So just opening the bag. Um, we, have, we have got gloves and everything else in here. It's a bit tricky when you've not got. Let's put gloves on first. Not dropped anything, although 
I'm going to drop in the camera. That's not the important thing, so guys. So if I do drop the camera, then it's staying on on the floor. I'm just putting gloves on. We are doing the tester cells, by the way. It's quicker to do it this way than be waiting in a long line for them to carry out the test. So we have looked at the instructions, so we do know what we're doing. So a step by step guide. Um, that's the as I, before you start, read the instructions. Um, Checklist swab nozzles and toes, put the swab in the plastic vial and place the screw in the lid. Put the plastic vial in the white absorbent pad into the Ziploc bag. Put the Ziploc bag in the biohazard bag. Do not seal the bio as I go to the drop off point. So we've got this ready. Check your kit contents. So the swab, the back of the thingy and all the other things. So, um, we need to open... Receipt card. So do we have to put it in the... put it round the finger? Plastic viral, ziplock bag, white absorbent pad. So get ready below your nose in a tissue. Look inside your mouth and find your tonsils at the back of your throat. Use for both tonsils and nose. Do not touch the cheeks, gums, or anything else. Um, holding the swab in your hand. Right, so I know oh, what I'm doing. I mean, today's about no end of the uh, so drugs and alcohol testing at work. I'm not going to cross me. Tissue. Is that everything you need? What you set at the engine back up for? Right, are we ready? Uh. <coughs> oh, sorry, sorry, people. Uh. And then up the nostril, did it say? Tell me what to do now before you start your test, love. I've done that. Uh, right, so I've swabbed. Up, up, I've, done, I've done both. So where does this go now? Just read the instructions for me and then I can help you do yours. Uh, okay, make sure fabric tip is facing down as you place it into the vial. Okay, so my vial's here. Without bending. Without bending. I don't know if it breaks at all. It, you break that. it when it goes in. Yeah, so this goes in here. Yeah. This is the vial. So this is going in there. Yeah. What next? Snap off the other end of the swab so it fits inside the vial. That didn't snap very successfully. Lid on as tight as you can, right? Yeah, no, that's not that's not. That won't go in because this is not snapped at its point. That's it, I've got it. So put the lid on tight as I can, yeah. Put your white absorbent pad, yeah, into your biohazard. Into my biohazard bag, which is this bag. The one with the silver strip on it. Yeah. Alright, so once, once that's in. I've got a pad in here. Yep. Yeah. Now put the vial in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, place it ziplock. Is it making you get? 
five seconds. <laughs> it's not pleasant, is it? Things like that. Uh, quite happily doing it, thinking oh, it doesn't get as bad as they thought it was going to be. Are you going to get no? <laughs> <laughs> Go on, up your nostril. It goes, it goes cavity. quite, it goes quite high. Go on, keep going till you get resistance. Yeah, I've got resistance. Five turns. So yeah, that's the test complete, guys. So we're out of there now. Um, it was quite quite easy to do. Just follow the instructions. You can't go wrong, really. Um, and yeah, and the men all done. And hopefully in 48 hours we'll get the results and um, know whether me or both of us have ended up catching this bloody thing. Um, so I was just doing this just for this test and um, it's only obviously a short video but I just wanted to document us getting the test and um, yeah so I'll see you when we get home. Hey again, so if you found this um, video um, helpful um, or you liked it for some reason uh, please give it a big thumbs up and um, as always don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel results will be in a couple of days so I will um, I will let you know as soon as we know and um, obviously we're quarantined now until we've got the results and um, we'll go from there so thank you for watching guys and I will see you in the next one bye bye for now guys bye 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 Nick ah it's a great big COVID goodbye from me I wanna get to your clothes bye, gotta get it right now I wanna push all the limits with you right now So watch your feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now People talk and tell what you wanna hear now